do you suck and you want to stop sucking? <laughs> that came out so wrong. Today, we're going to have two different playlists for you to play. Day one, which is going to be a static reaction time and dynamic clicking playlist. And then day two, which is going to be focusing on tracking. Now, all of my playlists are made to work for any game, as I believe any game requires good mouse control. I don't believe that static is just for Valorant or a tracking is just for Apex. I think of aim as aim, the whole thing. So we're going to be going by some of the playlists and some of the decisions I've made. Day one, you're going to be playing my static COD playlist. And this one is basically a lot of poke ball here, the beginning with. And then we're going to be moving over to some uh, static, some pressure, some shrink. Uh, we have a reflex scenarios and then where it gets really interesting which a lot of people don't cover and what I learned from my reaction and static playlist is actually to put in a lot of dynamic clicking and a lot of fast dynamic clicking for example reflex firework flick now this playlist is actually so unique because it works on that fast moving someone actually peeking you and just jumping out of you so it's a really realistic scenario for practicing all of your mouse control and that's the entire point of both of these playlists the second one is actually peeking now peeking is really important because as i've explained in other videos it has to do with information and the surprise factor somebody's just popping up on your screen which happens all the time you peek a corner they peek you for like 10 seconds as you do in static before you're clicking so that's how really unique and it actually works your reaction time the most i've found and all of these ones are focused on a micro flicking, a wide flicks, a reflex, dynamic. Like this is, this is truly the ultimate playlist and all you need to do. So we're playing poke ball here. And the reason why we're playing poke ball and switching it up from 2D to something like 3D is to just get that variation. 3D versions, which are spread out more like a wide wall style scenario. And then we have extra small ones that are very close together. Second, we have horizontal flicks, which go from side to side. Really important to have. We have this one, which is basically aim bots. If you ever played CS, you'll be very familiar with this one. One wall, six targets. We're going to be focusing on speed for this one. Extra small. Obviously, we're going to be focusing on accuracy and micro adjusting because of that wide motion and then that small adjusting part. Then we're going to have the same thing here, except we're going to be focusing on more punishing things here with the reflex in hero and it's not like super reflex but it's like if you miss the first shot it'll disappear and that's exactly what i wanted and focal pressure is personally my favorite one because it's just popping in your face all the time uh, and it really forces you to go fast one wall two targets solid scenario one wall four targets here is actually a a, a, a custom scenario that uh, my my friend and youtuber will occur made for me uh, it's basically one wall shrink, which means the bots go from small targets to larger the more you shoot them, basically. And then we have some more 3D clicking type of static scenario. And the reason it's important to have a 3D style of scenario is so you're changing up the angles and changing up and learning your depth perception, which is really important for games. Again, reflex flick, we talked about this brightly. We talked about uh, the types of peaking that we have. Flick off strafes, really important, really good for like static and overall mouse control. You have the static version, which is random, and then you have the strafe version, which is like dynamic clicking, it's like moving. Then we have the fireworks flick small, which is like the reflex version, except it's more balls and it's not going as fast. It's a really good one for practicing that micro adjusting. And that's what mainly these dynamic clicking are gonna do. I've been really into dynamic clicking because I was watching a top Twitch streamer play, right? He has a lot of top one scores on static. And I noticed on his aim, just for watching it very briefly, like he wouldn't really adjust to the target when he was clicking, right? He would sort of click when the target has passed his crosshair. And I think that's a bad habit that comes from only playing static. And I think that's why dynamic clicking can really help your mouse control as a whole because you're flicking and then adjusting a little bit to actually track the target. Moving targets are obviously harder to hit. Harder means more mouse control, blah, blah, blah. You get the point. Next up, we're coming to the playlist that probably most of you wanted to know about. A lot of you guys asked me about this one on stream since I was playing it right over there. And the truth is, this is just a compilation of all of my favorite playlists. First of all is SMH Track, which is really good. Uh, it goes on until here. These are all shortened versions of it. So 
so the, both of these playlists are roughly 45 minutes long smh track which is going to be focusing on reactive mainly uh and a little bit of smoothness mixed in here but mainly reactive elements and then we go to full-on smoothness which is a shortened version again of um of trippis smooth regen we're going to be going over that to here and then at the end we're going on to a mix between smooth reactivity rids smooth reactivity which we're going to end on here and do all of those it's been a one-on-one -on -one technique but it's really a lot of scenarios so both of these playlists take roughly 45 minutes each they're really good for building overall mouse control it's part one which is static god and then part two which is tracking mastery i would really recommend these both of these uh for the third day if you want to like skip an aim trainer you can do something like my aim boss technique which i have made a video about right here and yeah tell me what you think about these